This is 5-Minute Feng Shui Podcast, Episode 189, Paint Your House Wealthy. Welcome to the 5-Minute Feng Shui Podcast, where each week I talk about how to move energy and make money. You'll learn how to create a prosperous home and an abundant life using classical Chinese Feng Shui. I'm your host, Katie Weber, publisher of the Red Lotus Letter, Feng Shui Easing for Wealth. Each week, I'll cover Feng Shui topics that can help you improve your life, share inspiring stories, and always end with three easy to implement Feng Shui tips that you can put to work right away, and usually in about five minutes. Now let's get started on the five minutes that could change your life. Hello there, my feng shui friend. We are talking about house paint and house colors and what a difference they can make. You know, recently we replaced all the windows in our house. And one of the things that we needed to do was uh, repaint the trim because when they put the, uh, the, took the old windows out and put the new windows in, they put all new trim around the new windows and they all needed to be painted. It got me to thinking about house colors and house paint because uh, pretty soon, I don't know, in the next, well, five years maybe, we might need to repaint our house. And it got me to thinking about paint colors. And that's why I'm talking to you today about painting your house wealthy. You know, one of the things that we can do easily in our home is to align the our home with the colors that are associated with that direction. And that's what we're talking about today, because sometimes when you've done everything else in feng shui and you can't figure out what's going on, sometimes it's what's going on the outside of your house that's going on. And that's why I wanted to talk with you today, because there might be something holding you back and it could be your house color. Now, there is a saying that all chi starts from the outside in. And when it comes to your house color, well, that's a pretty big influencer, especially if you have a bright color or some kind of color that's very uh, noticeable. And you want to make sure that it is a color that's going to be supportive for your house. So let's talk today about house color and painting your house wealthy. So if you find that you are... I don't know, maybe money's flying through your hands. Maybe your relationships are tired. Maybe life is just that constant struggle and you can't put your finger on that one small thing that's blocking your success. Well, the answer could be as simple as the color of your house. That's because feng shui dictates that the paint color on your house can affect your wealth and abundance. So for instance, if your house is painted the wrong color for the direction it faces, you could be losing money. A good example of this is an east or southeast facing house that's painted white. Now, this is a good example of houses that could lose money or whose residents suffer from ill health or poor family relationships. Why? Well, white is the color of metal and what chops wood, what cuts grass. It's metal, right? The lawnmower, the buzzsaw. When you have an east or southeast facing wood direction house, you need something that is harmonious with that direction, such as green or brown. Those are wood colors. Or even better, maybe you you would use a watercolor because that promotes wood growth. So a blue house would be perfect. Or at the least, if you had a white house with blue trim. Now, color can be confusing, but it doesn't have to be. Because when it comes to choosing house colors, I know it can get really tough to make that decision. You go around and around, you look at all the little paint chips, you go back to the home center and you spend (laughs) hours looking at that row of gorgeous colors and get lost. And, you know, a lot of times we're not sure what's going to look good or what's the best choice for our house. And if Home Depot is listening, please get some feng shui in there. Because I think if people knew that green was the optimal color or blue is a good color or beige or whatever it is, I think it would really make them feel good about the color that they're choosing. I think it would be a great thing uh, to add to your paint selection process. Now, here's the cool thing is that feng shui provides several starting points for choosing a color because every color has a different meaning and a different direction associated with it. 
So if you can paint your house a color that's harmonious with the direction it faces, you are creating that beneficial environment to come and bring into your home, harmonizing it with the environment so that life is smoother and easier and it's not hitting that brick wall. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know how life can get sometimes. So we always want to use good design sense though when we're choosing feng shui colors. For example, color in feng shui means a lot of different things. So black is the color of money, but nobody really wants to have a black house and they won't necessarily make you rich because it might be too yin. It may be too much energy. Now, of course, black houses are really popular right now. I, I've seen a lot of them on decorating websites and but I think that they're, they're just a little too much. And I think that it can make a house become too yin. We always have to remember to balance light and dark. It's sort of like if you have a, a deep, dark jungle, it feels wet and humid. And uh, then if you have a, a very dry, bright, deserty location, it's too bright and you need some shade. And the in the deep, dark jungle, you want some sunlight. You know, it's the balance that makes the difference. So we always want to think about that. So that black house might look really cool in a, in a design website or a design magazine, but not to live in. So we always want to be thinking about what the colors are, what they mean. So let's say, for instance, you have a house that faces north and it painted white and maybe has black trim on the shutters or a black front door with brass trimmings. This is a beautiful example of a house that's harmonized with the environment and with its facing direction. That's because white is a metal color and metal makes water, making the color of this house in a productive color. That means that the color and direction are harmonious and it's also productive. And that means things are easier, things flow more smoothly. And if there's anything we all need today, right? It's stuff to go easier, that's for sure. Feng Shui is often referred to as a method for creating harmony. Now in harmony and, uh, or in feng shui, harmony means that the colors, elements, shapes, and numbers are all supportive and beneficial for one another. So let's talk about how you can use house color for the direction your home faces and what a good combination is for your particular home. So let's talk about the, the first color uh, that comes up is, you know, white, right? It's the color of creativity and children. Uh, it's sunset, you you know, where the sun sets every night is in the West. This is a color for that's suitable for West, Northwest, and North facing houses because it reflects light well, it stimulates those directions, and it's harmonious with those directions. So if you want have a, a West, Northwest, or North facing house, white is a great color for, for you. Uh, it's, it, you know, white houses are always really nice and crisp looking. Now I green or purple color, this color, uh, this combination uh, of colors uh, promote growth and good health and for, and wealth. These are great colors for both East and South facing houses. Uh, you know, in fact, green is a great, uh, a great direct, a great color for any east or south, south facing house. And let me tell you why. East is harmonized with the green color. Uh, brown is also another color that's harmonized with the east because that's a wood direction. And the southeast is a small wood direction. So it's perfect for a greenhouse or green trim. Uh, and south, let's talk about the, the south facing house. Now the south facing house is a fire direction. So why would you paint it green, brown, or purple? Because that's the color of wood, not purple, but brown and green are the color of wood. And what do we throw on, on fire to make it grow? Wood. So if you have a south facing firehouse by painting it green or brown, you have harmonized it. Now let's talk about purple a little bit. Purple is the feng shui beige. And a lot of people who know me know that I, that's how I define purple. Purple is one of those colors that has both water and fire in it. So it can, it can, it's sort of a chameleon of colors. So you can use it in a lot of different ways. Now let's talk about blue colors. 
This is another color that's perfect for houses that face north, east, and southeast. Blue is the color of water. The north is a, is, is a home that has a water direction. The east and southeast are wood direction. How do we make wood grow? We water it, right? We water our plants to make them grow. So water being a blue color is a perfect color for a north house to harmonize with it or to produce it, making it for, perfect for east and southeast facing houses. And don't forget, you can still use purple. Uh, purple is still a great color. I love purple. It, you can use it in so many different ways, and I love it as a front door. It really is beautiful, and it doesn't have to be that, you know, um, animated or puffy dinosaur color purple. It can be a, a, a deep aubergine eggplant color. It could be a light lavender. It could also be a, a sort of a deep kind of plum kind of color purple. There's a lot of beautiful shades of purple. It doesn't have to be that garish, cartoony kind of color that when you think of purple, there's some really elegant and rich shades of purple out there. And one of my favorite, and I always think about this, is one of the hotels that Tim and I had stayed at in Paris, they had an aubergine restaurant. When you went into the restaurant, it's all deep purple velvet. It was glorious. And then they had these lime green chairs. It was just so beautiful. So think about that. Now let's talk about houses that face the Northeast, the West, Southwest, and Northwest. These are what we call West houses. The Northeast and Southwest are both earth facing directions. West and Northwest are metal facing directions. These homes are perfect for any kind of tone along the sort of yellow, beige, gold color. And when I say gold, I mean like ochre, that really deep kind of rich gold color that, that like you see in paints or saffron robes of, of Buddhist monks. They're really uh, beautiful colors. You can also go all the way up to ivories and white on the, the west and northwest, but Really, in when we talk about light shades uh, for the earth and create more relationship stability and healthier relationships and better health, yellow and beige, ivory and gold or ochre, those are the best colors. And just remember that yellow is a color of wisdom and study. Uh, yellow is a beautiful home, a color to put on your home. Uh, I think that's they're always sunny looking, and it's really good if you have that northeast, west, southwest, and northwest house. Now let's talk about reds, reds and pinks. When would you paint your house red or pink? Uh, this is a social status color, a recognition color. It helps with relationships. And this is a color that's perfect for the south, southwest, and northeast facing houses. And the reason why the south is a fire element. Red and pink are fire colors. The southwest and northeast are an earth element direction, and they benefit by having fire because fire makes earth. So if you were to have a house that maybe has, uh, a, you know, maybe a beige house, let's say it's a, you have a southwest or a northeast house, a beige home with maybe burgundy shutters and a deep burgundy front door would be gorgeous. That's a wonderful way to use reds and pinks, and it helps to raise your social status, raise your recognition and your relationships. Now let's go back to brown colors because these are the colors that are the colors of health and happy family relationships and growth. This is a color that represents growth and longevity and it's perfect for an east house because that is the color of east is brown and it's good for a south house because that brown color represents wood. And what do we put on fire in the South? We put on wood to make fire grow. So a South house does really well with a brown color. So brown siding is really good. And, uh, and it is, it, it's a beautiful color for trim. You could use that for trim. Let's talk also about kind of the off brown color, which is like taupe or stone. Uh, sometimes people call it grayish. <laughs> this is a good color for earth facing homes. It's also good for metal facing homes. So let's talk about earth and metal homes. 
Earth is the southwest and northeast, and metal homes are west and northwest. That sort of grayy stone taupe kind of color is excellent because it is uh, stabilizes relationships. It promotes family harmony, especially for the woman of the house. So it's a really perfect color for for siding or for uh, even a, a, a rich deep uh, door would be beautiful with uh, a deep taupe. I think it would be gorgeous. Now, what about trim colors? Now, white is always a good option. You can use white sort of as a neutral. That's that is always good as long as the lighter shade there. You know, have some kind of a, a, a another color that you want to use like a, you can use uh, white for uh, trim you can also use another color if you were to say you were to have a white house uh, maybe you want to have uh, a wood color so maybe you have white with dark green trim that's a classic look and that dark green will help give you that that wood kind of element uh, if you wanted to uh, I also like to choose a dark color door or a color from the, you know, a corresponding color. So like we had talked about, let's say if you were to have like a, a, a pale sort of coral color for your shutters uh, on your home, and then you had a really deep version of that coral color for your front door, I think it's a nice way to draw attention to the front door. We always want to think about painting our front door color something that harmonizes and better still is a productive color so let's say for instance you have a house that faces southeast and you have uh, maybe you decide to paint it blue because southeast is wood blue color produces wood a beautiful selection would be a black door with the blue siding, I think it would be absolutely gorgeous. It would be so harmonized and that black door would be so auspicious. You could also do a deep aubergine like we talked about. This is how you would use colors. Uh, I, you know, look for colors that are corresponding to, to one another. Again, we always want to look for a harmonious color or look for a product productive type of color. So remember, again, if if it's in the south, it's, it's a fire, you want to think about those elements, the fire element, it needs wood, right? Fire is, wood is how we make fire grow. So we, you can you always use those productive colors. So let's talk about why you shouldn't paint a stone location or an earth house with a wood colors. You always want to paint your house a color that's harmonious for the direction it faces. If your house faces an earth direction and you paint it a wood color, like green or brown, this can create difficulties with relationships in the house. It can cause problems with health. It can create disharmony. Likewise, if you paint a south facing house white, or maybe you paint it blue, the residents there might struggle with gaining recognition at work or maybe have problems with neighbors. It's really important that you look at the direction that your house faces and understand the direction that your house faces and work with that direction to find the right colors. If you want to know a little bit more, be sure to check out my article on the five element theory and it explains a little bit more about how to select colors. And if you just want to go super easy, you can use my Red Lotus Letter color calculator to help you select color house colors that support your house and make life better for you. Now, now, let's leave you with those three important tips as I always do. Tip number one, all energy starts from the outside and goes inward. Make sure that your house is painted a harmonious or productive color because that starts the chi ball rolling in your favor. Tip number two, Use a color on your front door, especially that is the productive color. So if your house is uh, north facing, then you want it to be a, a metal related color, like a beautiful deep gray that because metal makes water using productive colors are going to mean that your energy and your home's energy is going to be productive. And that's what makes wealth productivity. Just think when you work hard, you usually make more money. It's the same thing. If you get your, your home's chi working hard, you're going to make more money. And lastly, the last tip is make sure that your home is painted according to its direction. If you have a house that is painted 
a color that is a disharmonious color, that is an exhausting color, that is a non-productive color, what it can do is make your house work against you and nobody needs that. Make sure you check my Red Lotus Letter color calculator when choosing colors for your home and for your front door. All right. Well, I will talk to you on the next episode of 5-Minute Feng Shui. Have a great week. I'll talk to you next week. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of 5-Minute Feng Shui. If you did, please be sure to share this episode with your friends on social media and let's change the world one home at a time. For more Feng Shui information and inspiration, sign up for my free weekly Feng Shui e -zine. Just drop by redlotusletter.com to sign up and I'll be in your inbox every Wednesday. And if you like this episode, I'd love it if you left a review on iTunes. If you do, send me the screenshot of your review to katie at redlotusletter.com with iTunes review in the subject line. And I'll send you a free gift as my thank you. I'll see you next week on the next episode of 5-Minute Feng Shui.